day two of our London excursion. We're going to the Imperial War Museum. Fun fact about London, almost all the museums are free. It's awesome. So we're checking them out. I think this is a piece of the Berlin Wall. Let's you see. I was? Section of the Berlin Wall. So up here we have the V1 rocket. Now, unlike it's portrayed in Battlefield 5, where it's used as like a cruise missile against other troops, this mi this early missile was used more as a terror weapon against the citizens of London. Oh, really? now, yeah. Now the main difference between the V2, or, I'm sorry, the V1 and the V2, the V1, as you can see, it's got wings and it flies, and on the back of it you can see its engine. And that engine makes like this humming noise and you could hear this approaching and when this was fired and it was picked up by radar it would scramble spitfires and they could shoot down the v1s later in the war uh, to, to continue the campaign of terror the germans developed the v2 which is this bigger rocket the v2 would be launched from mainland europe and then it would hit cities like london and it, unlike the v1 it wasn't able to be shot down History with Jet Desert Socks. Now behind the V1. Are we still going? Spitfire? Yeah, the Spitfire is the iconic British fighter of the RAF used in the Battle for the Battle for Brit uh, the Battle for Britain. I won't go too much into uh, too much into that. And then above it you have the Harrier, which saw most of its action in the Falklands battle. Or Battle for the Falklands. Behind me, we have a collection of basically melee weapons and grenades. Now, if you were fortunate enough to make it through no man's land into the enemy trenches, it then basically turned into hand-to-hand -hand combat. And what troops would do is they would fashion basically clubs and other bludgeons to just beat each other to death. It was very savage, uh, savage warfare. bludgeoning and stabbing someone at the same time. I'm really glad I didn't have to fight in World War One. That you are worth every tear. Man, you thought your interceptor was bad. I know, right? Looks like a British one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at yourself. <laughs> 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 oh, this is another British hat. British cap. How do I look? It's better than the helmet. Can't see your eyes. You're too dark. <laughs> Not enough light in here. Well, king and country. <laughs> Just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. Live World War I immersion! 
Oh man. Early warm or cold weather gear. It's basically a jacket of sheepskin. You wear them with the fur on the outside to throw off the water. It helps keep the water off of you. Oh. But then you're still stinky. Because you smell like a wet sheep. <laughs> it says soldiers call those stinkers. Stinkers? Yeah. <laughs> Shine my flashlight so we can see. Yeah. Alright, we're down in the trenches. Trench warfare. I need my stabby. <laughs> Got periscopes to look over the top of the trench. Oh, that just shows. Oh, look, there's people in the trench. Oh, yep. Hide. I don't want them to see us. <laughs> well, can you imagine having to fight in this? Yeah, that would uh, suck. Uh, no, thank you. That bayonet is longer than I am. It would go in and out of me. <laughs> So we're gonna go do something a little bit lighter. This is why I did not join the military, because I can't handle it. <laughs> we went through the Holocaust section of the Imperial War Museum, which you can't record or take video in. Uh, made me feel physically ill. <laughs> I need a drink. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty deep. I would love to come back to the museum for a whole day and just listen to the first-hand accounts of stuff that they have. We only spent a couple hours in there because this is our last day in London, so now we're off to Camden Market. Let's go. Hey now, honey, I've been driving around in my car Looking for some kind of open bar It's gonna be all right, gonna be all right Got no money, but I'll work it out with my charm Having a good time and doing no harm It's gonna be all right, gonna be all right Hey now, honey, I've been driving around in my car Looking for some kind of open bar It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Got no money, but I'll work it out with my charm Having a good time and doing no harm It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright I don't want to have a party on anything without a bathroom. No.
fun to wear. Yeah. Yeah, if they weren't fleece, I'd be into it. confident in uh, navigating the underground because I am not. Yeah, I'm got it figured out. <laughs> <laughs> The German military marched through it. They're like, yeah, get out of the way. Man. What? Whoa, popping bottles under the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> so classy. There's also meat and cheese. But this is the important part <laughs> of the picnic. It's gonna be magical.